Need to take a bath. You need a bath. Hey guys, today we're gonna make a video for you on how to wash your Husky. We currently use the Chi for dogs shampoo. It's the best one that I've found for Voodoo's fur. Um, it really helps to fluff it out and I haven't ever had issues with hot spots using it, which is really good because that can be a common problem with Huskies. So we also use the conditioner. Um, it comes in a smaller bottle, but it's still really, really good stuff and it really makes their coat soft. Uh, it also really helps with shedding. Even though it's not specifically a shedding shampoo, it does help a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I apologize in advance for the pinkness of the tub. Um, I did dye my hair a little bit ago and I washed my hair out in the tub and it totally dyed it pink and I've been trying to get the pink out. First thing you want to do is take the collar off of your dog. Obviously you don't want to wash the collar. Um, Voodoo wears a banded pines collar. Uh, the cool thing about these collars is that they are actually water resistant so technically she could take a bath in it if I wanted to but I really like to scrub underneath her neck and I like to take this opportunity to clean the collar itself. Okay, so now we're gonna get her in the tub and get her ready for bath. Okay, hop in, come on, let's go. Good girl, good job. A really important part of washing your dogs uh, is making sure it's a positive experience. You never want it to be something that they're afraid of. Uh, you never want them to dread taking a bath even though most dogs don't like it. Um, it should be tolerable for them. Voodoo will stay in the tub. She doesn't ever try to jump out. She doesn't try to bite me. She doesn't try to bite the water. She is pretty placid with baths. Now we're just gonna let the water warm up. Um, what I use for baths is this awesome little attachment that we got at PetSmart. So we're just gonna let the water get warm. Give it a minute. All right, so it's warm. And then what I do is I pull up on this and then I open this up and that starts the flow of water and it's warm, so we're good. So then what I like to do is I like to start it by her head. Just get everything wet. Make sure not to get the water anywhere near their eyes or their nose. I don't know if you guys can see how thick her fur is, but that's her skin right there. And under, so there's about, you know, one or two inches of just pure thick fluff that you have to punch through to get to her skin. Another huge part of having a service dog is that they have to be well groomed. Um, that's another big reason why I wash her as much as I do and most husky owners don't. Um, legally, she has to be well groomed. She can't have any tufts of fur coming out. Um, she can't, you know, have... Uh, thank you for that. That was awesome. So anyway, yeah, I have to keep her well groomed. She cannot have tufts of fur sticking out. Uh, she can't have a ton of dirt on her fur. It can't be visibly dirty. So then I just grab the shampoo, I'll shake it up a little bit just in case it's separated over time. Um, and then I'll just put a little bit along her back like this. And then I'll put a little bit in my hand to get underneath like on her chest and on her belly and on her legs. And I'll just softly massage her cheeks, which she really likes. 
that feel good? So with the conditioner, what I like to do is um, I only like to put it on certain parts of her body because if I put it on all of her body, her fur would completely absorb this entire bottle. Nope, no, 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 no. Voodoo, stop. What I'll do is, well, I'll show you in a minute, but I basically just really massage it into those areas and then I'll use the rest of my hands and I'll just go over the top of her coat. And it looks like the camera stopped recording right when I was putting conditioner in her fur, which isn't a huge deal because I can kind of just explain to you what I did. So with the conditioner, I already kind of explained to you where I put it. Um, the last little bit was I really massaged the conditioner into her butt cheeks and her tail. And then on her neck, I just lightly went like this and just kind of went back and forth and then I just took the rest of what was on my hands and just went ran it over her body so now what I do with voodoo because her fur really does soak up a ton of water is I'll just go back I'll just try to push as much water out as I can without, yeah, a lot of water. And I'll just lightly squeeze, because her fur is like a sponge. I will just lightly squeeze everything. Make sure you're just squeezing the skin, especially around their neck. Don't squeeze their actual neck. Okay, come. Come on. <laughs> She'll hop out and begin the shaking process, and I'll just hold the towel up to kind of shield myself from it. And then I'll just start drying her off with a towel. And I'll just scrub everything down. Is that the good spot right there? What are you doing? It's tired. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in. All right, bye.